Hello. Hello. You're doing a pie. Where do you want? Looks nice. I'm in a rush. My snap's out. See you later. <laughs> All right, we'll tell you about it. We're doing that one. From Aldi's. Won't it? Yeah. And then ripped us off. Oh, it's there. It's awfully heavy. You get two of them. Crispy pastry. Is this phyllo pastry? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. A fiery mix. Right, the two spicy firecracker roasted vegetable parcels. I knew. Ah. Don't be put off because it's vegetarian. It's actually vegan. Uh, serves two. That's why you get two pies then. We like pies. Two chilies out of three. A fiery mix of roasted vegetables encased in a crispy vegan pastry. That's what I ate recently. <laughs> 30 to 32 minutes in the oven. And we'll see what they're like. Well, tell them what does it say if it's on there, what the veggies are or anything? Yeah, Mr. Bread and crisp. Yeah, there you go. Filling. Boo, 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 boo. Red peppers, carrots, broccoli, straw mushroom, leeks, soya bean, potato starch and brown sugar. Hmm. It's got time in it. <sighs> Whoa, these are rare. Odd. A lot of pastry seems like and not a lot of filling. But That's off the circle, isn't it? Just put that there. Is my phone going if you can hear that vibrating? That's what they look like. And if you can hear that, please go and stack him away. Oh dear Zeus, what have you done? It looks like it's too much pastry to me on that. I think it's the spiral where they've circled it and pushed it down. Right, and it let's comes butcher right it. Way through. Try it. Smell wise. It smells quite nice. Could smell pepper. Um, not black pepper. Uh, peppers, like red, green peppers. That's the main vegetable that's mm. in it. I'll try the filling first. Sweet, mm. very sweet. Fill in anyway. What's in it to give it sweetness? Brown sugar in a vegetable pie. Veggies are cooked nice. I quite like the crunchiness. That pastry is weird because it's like. It's like a sweet pastry. Mm, but it's like a, mi a mix between phyllo and puff. Mm. It's got crispiness of phyllo pastry, but it's, it's quite texture of bottom, puff though. pastry. Yeah. I think it's too thick, the pastry, but go back on it, Zeus. The bulk of it is pastry when you look at how thick. Yeah. The bases. So it's wrapped at the top as well, isn't it? Look. It's about a centimetre thick at the bottom. And then the top comes round and spirals down into it. Right, I'm going to give this two ratings. Not giving it anything with the book because I think it needs two ratings. I've had two mouthfuls. And that's the rest of my filling. Rating one, speaking from a non-vegan, non-vegetarian, it's too sweet. Yeah. And there's too much pastry, not enough filling. That's my pastry. But, so, from a non-veggie perspective, I'm giving it an unsure. Now, because yeah, I, I don't know. From a veggie, vegan perspective, I'm going to give it a thumbs up yeah. because a lot of the stuff 
and I know it's moved on a lot, but you still get a lot that we've tried. There's some videos we've not even put up yeah. on the ready meals side because they're just too bland and no flavour. And they just say, <coughs> right, I'll stick in anything a vegetarian or vegan can eat, chuck a bit of extras in, call it a veggie meal and they'll be happy. These have made an effort. Yes. And it tastes okay. There's nice flavours in it, but it's not for me. I would sooner have a proper pie with proper pastry. But if you're a vegan or you're a vegetarian, you will like it because it's something different and it's That's got a nice taste. That's what I was going to say. From someone who eats quite a lot of vegetarian food for health reasons, that makes a nice alternative to, do you say, a vegetable curry or a vegetable stew. Or There's only so many forms of vegetables that you can have it, you know be it in a stew or however that makes a nice alternative but there is an awful lot of pastry all that's missing and we've got loads is some chili sauce on it yeah and now the, the flavor of the inside is nice but they've not got enough flavor for how much pastry you know what i'd rather have than parcels i made yeah as, a, as an alternative but it's you know for if you've not checked that out though, check that video out the veggie or whatever we called it. It was the Chinese curry, over. wasn't it? Um, yeah. They're not vegan, because they didn't <laughs> use vegan pastry, but if you're vegetarian, they were nice, and you can put your own filling in and get their own yeah, flavour you want. Like, yeah. But, so, two ratings for that. Non-vegan rating is that, a vegan rating is that, and I'll just explain why. So do watch and listen to what I said, because it will explain it, and don't say, oh, you're anti-vegan or whatever. Um, no, I think for someone who only eats vegetables, a full-on vegan, I think that's a nice option. To me, for the non-veggie rating on it, is we eat a lot of savouries and spicy stuff, and to me that's too sweet. Yeah. Um, don't be put off by the firecracker and the two chillies on it. I ain't getting any heat from it, chilli-wise. No, no, it's uh, not hot. There might be some, but I think what's happened is if it's got brown sugar in as well and they've made it really sweet, it's counteracted it. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But also the peppers, as they cook, they're quite sweet, aren't they? But it's not bad. I mean, I'm not slating it. It's just not for me because it's overly sweet. I don't eat a lot of sugar. I would buy it again. If, if it was just me who was eating, I'd have that. But I'd have it with a spicy tomato sauce instead of a gravy. Or, you know, flavoured rice or whatever, I don't know. But, yeah, I'd, I'd have it again. How much was it, though? It was expensive, wasn't it? I can't remember, but they weren't cheap. I think it's between three and four pound, um, if I remember rightly. In which case, I wouldn't buy it again unless it was in the sim bin. <laughs> if you're vegan, that would be nice with some other veg... Not creamy mash because you're vegan. Uh, it's a nice mash, whatever you do to make your mash nice. And make a tomato, a thin, not with chunks of tomatoes, blitz it or use passata. Um, and do like a spicy, smoky tomato gravy. Yeah. Uh, and have that over it with mash and veg, and then it'll be nice because the spiciness from the, the gravy that you yeah. make will Just help with the sweetness. With the skin on would be nice. Um, you need something to help with the sweetness. Yeah. And the peppers are repeating. I've only heard them once. <laughs> Put a bit on there. Should have watched this review. I think it's gone up by now. If it's not, gnarly gold. Watch the review if it has already gone up on that. It's on the table, so that tells you something. Yeah. Right, now let's see what difference some heat makes to the sweetness. Mm-hmm. Better. Hmm. Because that's really hot, it's counteracting the sweetness. Mm. The way I said that the sweetness was counteracting the chilli they put in. Mm. Good chilli sauce cures all known cooking problems. <laughs> now, yeah, that's edible. Yeah, I'd give it a thumbs up. It's just cost-wise that would put me off. Yeah. To give... A vegan or a vegetarian pie, a thumbs up. And there is one that's had one, which is the ginsters. Um 
for me, because I'm not vegetarian or vegan, it's got to match for me to say, I could have that instead of a meat one. And I wouldn't, I'd soon have meat. It's not enough going on in it. Yeah, it's too sweet for you, isn't it? Um, so it's getting the two ratings. One's an unsure and one's an up. Vegan, no, veggie rating, Thumbs up. meat eater rating. And that's think... not just me saying, oh, for anyone to <laughs> say, well, you're going to say that because you're a meat eater. Jinster's vegan pasty got a thumbs up from me and I will eat them again. I think with the right accompanying items, like your new potatoes, your veg, your spicy tomato sauce, that's got a place, so I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'd rather have that than a minced beef pie. Oh, no, there you go. Eat well, today. yeah, I mean, it's not got a thumbs down from me, it's got an unsure. Ain't stopped you eating it. So, no, that's why it's got a, an unsure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, all good. And now I'm sure that I'm unsure. <laughs> so yeah. Worth a dabble. If you're vegetarian or vegan, then I'd, I'd recommend it. Because it's something different. It's not just plain boring veggie chucked in pastry and that's it. No, it's got flavour. They put stuff in there and they put thought into it. I would still sooner have Greg's vegan steak bake and Jinster's vegan pasty. I really enjoyed both of them. But sometimes I'd sooner have them than that. you don't want something that tastes like an alternative to meat. Yeah, well, I do. You don't. You like veggies and that. Yeah. I like veggies a lot, but they don't like me. That's the trouble. No. So, no. Well, from me, it's a thumbs up. So, it's that from me. Work that one out. <laughs> if you ain't been listening, you ain't got a clue why I've done that. <laughs> and you've got the thumbs up. So, yeah. it ain't all bad. If you want to spend a bit extra, you're veggie or vegan, go and try them because I think you'll like them if you are. Job done on that one. Catch you soon. See you later.